And welcome back to this frolicking part of Harry Potter in the non gingerless stone. <laughs> in the last part we were discussed at Hermione's ginger hair, in this part we shall receive a letter from Hedwig who looks like his face looks like it flow into the wall a couple of times. <laughs> I can't speak in fast, it's not working for me. Could you, could you imagine, like, if they used these graphics? You know how Crookshanks is meant to look like he's ran into a wall? Yeah. What would Crookshanks look like in this then? His face would be concave. It would have actually a hole inside its face that would go inwards. It's like, it's like having minus A cup breasts. They go inwards. That was an odd thought. Where the hell did that come from? I don't know. Yeah, oh, all sorts. That's... Oh, no, 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 no. Anyway, in this, um, Quidditch match, we're taking on Ravenclaw. Ready for and, um, hey. the annoying thing is, um, you need to get the game 100% to, to actually have the final match against Slytherin. And we'll be getting in in the next one part why the hell I can't do that. And why the hell you can't do it either if you tried. But basically... God of what? That's so posh. That because she is you forget posh. that dog and what he's guarding. Yeah. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas <laughs> Flamel. <clears throat> he's such a bad actor he's because he's just. Never you mind. He's like, I'm never off. you mind. I'm off. It's, it's a shame he didn't do what he did in the film. The you know, um. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that. that. Such, said that. Such a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant act. I should have said that. I should not have said that. No, uh, Robbie Coltrane is amazing. You cannot deny it. Welcome to Quidditch! Welcome to Quidditch! I am your commentator, Lee Jordan! I finished every sentence on a high! Ha ha! Take that! People who may finish their sentences on a low. We didn't finish it on a high there, we went um, to score. Oh, fuck him then. Fuck him in the anus. Ruin, ruin my insult. I'm going to fire peanut butter at you. I don't know, but I'm just going to get a peanut butter cannon. And... Ugh. Peanut butter has to be the right kind. You can't have the cheap, crappy stuff. It's like butter. And all the fans of Harry Potter with his blue dread of blueness coming out of the back of his blue broom. This is if there's some sort of gas, like, there probably is. from it. There probably is, if you think about it. Magic... If it was going to work, would work. It would work due to science, and if it worked yeah. on science, it, there would be some kind of exchange going on in the broomstick. So how would these rings appear then? Um, let's just, see. Is it smoking? Well, we gather this is giving out photons. Um, that possibly. Well, here we go again. Here we're getting a nice lesson. Yeah, well, it's photons and stuff. Um. I don't know. Magic is magic. You try and sign, try and turn it into science. It's not fun anymore. You went the fun. completely wrong direction. Yo, this snitch is annoying and annoying. <clears throat> You're losing control. I never lose control. Ever. You just did. Well, I lost control of the room, but you know. What? Well, I don't understand. Is it fans in the pitch? all Gryffindor supporters. Because every time you do something good, it's like, yay! And every time he does something good for their team, it's like a boo. Well, yeah, I'm not sure. Mm. It's just one I think, it's, I think it's just a poor... Ooh, ouch. I think it's just, like, poorly conducted. Um, well, not poorly conducted. Maybe they were restricted on the sound that they could use. So all they could do was use, like, a certain group well, it wouldn't well, be too difficult, you just have to record two things at once, like, um... Yeah, well, but, if you think about it, this, like, this was made years ago, so, maybe they just weren't, and plus it was the first game that they were producing of Harry Potter, so they didn't know how popular, didn't know how popular it was going to be. So oh, they, they did. They didn't have as much money. They knew how popular it was going to be, because they knew how popular it was going to be, obviously, but think about the money they, they would have had at that point, they wouldn't have had that much, because obviously they hadn't. And oh my goodness, why do you keep going the wrong direction? Because I totally forget where this thing goes, but yeah, it's like any movie time game. They know they're going to get shitloads of money, so they purposely don't put in as much effort. Although some of them do. You know, I'm going to congratulate some people on making movie time, time games, they're not all awful. <clears throat> Like, I seem, to remember, I seem to remember playing the demo of Avatar, which pretty much sucked, but they put a, graph, a 
um, effort into the graphics. So. All right, that's kind of the same with the film. They put more effort into the graphics than with the actual film. Well, I haven't seen it yet. I'm still going to see it shortly. So. But people are being undecisive in my life, and no, no one seems to want to go with me, so I might just go on my own. Yay. <clears throat> oh, I would go with you, but I kind of can't drive down to you. Yeah, and it's not worth seeing a, seeing a three hour long film anyway. But once again. Plus petrol. Yes. Oh no. Mm, Can you imagine um, the amount of times I've turned it off? bad news, Harry. <laughs> Norbert isn't doing too well. He's very sick. Who oh, is he? You sound really, 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 really heartbroken about that, Hagrid. Would you like me to hit him over the head with a mallet? <laughs> Norbert's not well. Oh, really, Hagrid? How do you feel about it? I'm so upset. I'm indifferent. Now, can we kill him together and bury him in my garden? Can I eat we go to Diagon Alley, even though you can't be taken out of school? And oh, it's your favourite place coming up. Okay, really quick thing I need to explain here. In this particular part, there are three minecart sessions, which I'll get into later on. But due to this whole minecart situation, I myself cannot complete them 100%, and they're pretty much impossible. It's a bastard move on the game designer's fault. So that's how I'm not going to be able to get 100%, because you have to get 100% at each three minecart level. And that gives you your wizard, which is a wizard's card. So I'm looking at hacking. Not going too well there, though. Why would you, why the hell would you need wards? Because he might have liquid in them. Mm, true. Why the hell were we paying for his? Yeah, I'm going to the leaky cauldron to drink. You can do all the hard graft with your own money. I'm too depressed to get the money and buy the ingredients that could potentially save my old dragon that I. Bot. He's basically just saying, screw you, oh, and the woman to the left, which is coming up, is so funny. Let's talk to her. Harry Potter, stay well away from here. That is Nocturne Alley. Is that Professor McGonagall's sister? I know. Dark heart. Before I turn you into a vole. A vole, is that the best you can do? Oh. You talk to her again, she says, Listen. she says some other funny things, but we'll do that on the way out of here. Save. Saving the game. Two fifty nine percent. So I can come back to this stage and do it again, but you know, don't think I want to. No, no, no. Oh yeah. By the way, I have a half an hour of cut from them this bit, which I'll probably use as a bonus episode to sped up, so you can just you know look down a tunnel and feel slightly aroused. Mm. Yep. Maybe, what? Maybe maybe tunnels with lots of turning and rousing. Anyway, this is creepy. This bit. They're all stamping in. In sync. I know. It's like a badly coordinated anime. Coordinated? No, they're not. Badly coordinated anime. Mm. <clears throat> well, no, they're just doing. Well, why would they need to stamp one thing that much? I don't Is it know really running out? Of, are they so low on budget? They're running out of ink. They're like stamp, 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 stamp. I just think they're really, really bored. Welcome to Gringotts, Mr. Potter. <laughs> to access the vault, you must collect all the form and then hand them to the goblin outside. And to really annoy you, we polished the floor so much that you slide all over the place. Yeah, we actually need to rip his vocals out because I can't. My name is Dr. Wilbert. <clears throat> anyway, it's going to get worse, people. Seriously, why are the floors that. That slide is like, I guess, all health and safety. Yeah, well, it's real. I, 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 but I think the Wizarding World completely ignores health and safety. The Wizarding World doesn't have health and safety. I mean, health and safety would ban the use of wands entirely. That's so. You could accidentally blow your own left testicle off. We can't have that now, can we? You probably could, actually. Mm, you have, like, you know. 0.09% chance of doing something, and still they'll they'll actually ban Going it. Going you though. No, I'd be good at it. <laughs> I have a natural knack for all things supernatural. Shifty people, eyes. People say that I, I'd be like Hermione Granger with magic. Uh, well, I'd be like I won't be like Harry Potter. I don't want to be angst man. Let's see you in the mm. next angsty part of Harry Potter and the Angsty Stone. Yeah. I, I should stop saying angst. It's become a regular occurrence. <laughs> 